Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to turn on your different colorblind modes and settings on the PlayStation 5. So let's go ahead, jump in the video right now. So it's very easy to turn on the different color blind modes on the PlayStation 5 and these will apply to your game. So this will allow you to see easily and more clearly if you're color deficient or color blind. Also, if you're not, well, this may allow you to see more colors on your screen. So on the home screen, if we go back to it by pressing the PlayStation button and then going home, then going to the top and going over to settings, then scroll on down to accessibility right here and select this settings. Then go over to display and color correction. Now under here, enable color filters. Then at the top, you can see all the different colors. And what we want to do is find the color filter that allows us to see all those different colors the most efficiently. Now, the first option is grayscale. I'm not sure why this is on the PlayStation settings, but it is here if we need it. Then we have red slash green, then green slash red, and finally blue slash yellow. Now, blue slash yellow in the game can make it seem a little bit weird. If I go back to Call of Duty Vanguard, I think it would be very hard to play like this. However, I've noticed in Warzone, people are illuminated a lot more. And if you're running around and everything is very green, well, this is going to illuminate the person. And they kind of look like yellow in some areas. So it's very easy to see them, but I wouldn't play like this. Then the other two modes are a little bit easier to see people in and it adds more color and vibrancy to the screen, I think. So if I go to, let's go with the, the first one, red slash green and go back to the game. It won't add too much vibrancy, but it'll add a little bit more saturation. And for me, I can see everything a little bit clearer using this setting versus just having a default one on. Then at the bottom, you do have an intensity filter. So if you don't want the full effect of it, you can just tone this down a little bit more. So go ahead and check out the different color correction settings on here. And if this video did indeed help you, I'll go and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on your six studios.